Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the glory of our Lord shall we all together sing the hymn which is being displayed. Greetings to you all again. Before starting today's meditation, I'd like to ask you few questions. In this fast-moving world, have you ever felt being unloved? Have you ever felt that there's no one to care about you? There's no one to think about you? There's no one to stand by your side? Most of us would have, isn't it? Most of us would have even come to a conclusion there's no such thing called true love or unconditional love, isn't it? Yes, even I came to one such conclusion several years back until I encountered, I came to know about a particular person. I came to know about him when I was reading a book. I thought I should speak to him and when I went, when I contacted him, he spoke to me. He said that he was ready. He was willing to enter into my life. And guess what? I said yes. And now I'm successfully into a proper relationship. And you know where I came to know about this person? It was from here. And this is the Holy Bible, which is about you, me, it's about L-O-V-E, -E, love. It's about the love of God. It's about the everlasting, never failing, ever faithful, never ending love of God. And you know what this Bible says about the love of God? In John chapter 3, verse 16, we read, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him, shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. For you and for me and for the entire human race that we might not perish, but have eternal life. There was a little boy called Jerry. He was so naughty, so playful, very active. And there was this day he was playing with his siblings he was running here and there, jumping on the couch, jumping down. And unfortunately, he fell down and had a wound on his palm. 
We know, right, kids, they play, they fall down, they cry, and then they see other kids playing. They forget this own, and then, and then they start playing again. And Jerry's mom guessed this, but this did not happen that day. That day, Jerry did not stop crying. He was sitting on his couch. He was constantly looking on his palm. His other hand was so busy picking the wound. He was constantly crying. His concentration was only on the wound. He was constantly looking on it. Uh, you know why? Our uh, palm, the human palm, is uh, one of the most delicate parts of our body where if we get hurt, it, it bothers us so much. And that's when Jerry's mom realized the true divine love of God. God says in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 16, Behold, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. God has engraved us in the palms of his hand. Now, can any one of us say that we are being unloved? There's no one to care for us. There's no one to look after us. You know what? We are in God's hands and God is constantly watching over us. God's constantly caring about us. All his thoughts are only about us. Now, can any of us say that we are not loved? We are not being loved? No, right? The second thing is, this God who loves us more than anything else in this world is also ready to do one thing for us. In this world, even if we have so many people to love us, to care for us, when it comes to taking up sides, when it comes to taking up a person's sides, people will always have second thoughts. People will always have second thoughts some people might not stay with us all time. Some may leave us. But whoever may leave us, whoever may leave our side, this God who loves us more than anything else in this world is always ready to stand by our side. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 26 says, For the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. The Lord will always be on our side. And if this God, who is the God of all the heavenly armies, is there on our side, who can be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? I hope you all would have understood there's one person to love you more than anything else in this world. There's one person who's always ready to stand by your side whatever may come your way, whatever situation you might be in, even if you are in the darkest of the pits, in the deepest of the pits, this God's hand will be there even in those difficult times. The third thing is, this God who loves you more than anything else in this world, who is always ready to care for you, wants you to believe that he will be by your side in whatever situation you might be in. One of the people of God wrote a song which goes like this. Enna vandalum nambuven, en nesa meetparai, yaar kai vittalum pinsalven, enadu esuvai, agala aala uyaramai, evvalava anbu kundar, enna tunbangal vandalum, avar ennai kai vidamatar. And this is that kind of belief, that kind of trust that God wants us to have on Him. Whatever may come away, this Lord who has loved us with an everlasting love will never leave our side. Now that we all have understood the love of God, shall we all look to the Lord in prayer? Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for giving us this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for loving us with an everlasting love. Thank you, Lord, for telling us that you will never leave our side. Lord, now that we have understood all these things, help us to believe wholeheartedly. Lord, 
we come at our college, all the governing authorities of our college, the teaching and non-teaching faculty members, and all the students of this reputed institution into your mighty hands. Keep us, guard us, and protect us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.